So this is another day. So that third and then dog. And uh, we thank God for giving us an opportunity. Och vi tackar Gud för att ge oss en, ett, en anledning. For meeting in this session. Till och möte nu till detta möte. And our prayer is to fellowship together. Och b- vår bön är att vi ska ha samfund sammen. All the times. Hela tiden. For when we are together. Och när vi är sammen. We are able to overcome the powers of the enemy. Så är vi i stand till att övervinna krafterna från fienden. Amen. Amen. And today our topic is overcoming hunger in Christianity. Och idag är vårt ämne att övervinna vrede i kristenheten. So let us pray. Så so låt oss be. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Father i Jesu Kristi navn. We thank you for this day. Takker vi dig för denna dagen. As we speak your word. Och som vi talar ditt ord. Let the Holy Spirit take over. Låt den helige ande ta över. And speak to our hearts. Och tal till hjärtena våra. In our minds. Till våra sinn. And in our souls. Och till våra själar. Father as we speak your word Father i det vi talar ditt ord help us hjälp oss to overcome the enemy till att övervinna fienden in Jesus name i Jesu namn amen amen um, I will explain what is hunger jag vill förklara vad sinne är everybody has an hunger alla har ett sinne So the explanation hunger is a strong feeling of annoyance. Så so, förklaringen är att anger är en stark känsla av uttillfredshet. Or is a spirit of irritation. Eller en irritabel ond. Where you feel like uh, an hostility is in you. Där du känner att det är en slags fiendhet in i dig. And hunger is a way of explaining the feelings. Och sinne är en mått att uttrycka känslor på. But uh, it makes somebody to explain it in a bad way. Men det får folk att uttrycka dem på en dålig mått. And the hunger can cause confusion. Och sinne kan föra med sig förvirring. And the hunger can destroy. Och uh, anger, nej, sinne kan ödelägga. And today we are going to speak it in a Christian way. Och idag ska vi tala om det på en kristen måte. Or now to overcome it. Och så övervinna den. And now to be strong even if when it comes to us. Och vara stark när det onde kommer till oss. And uh, one we are going to see the causes of hunger in the book of Exodus 32:19. Och då ska vi se följen av sinne i andra Mosebok kapitel 32 vers 19. So let us open in the book of Exodus 32:19. Så låt oss öppna andra Mosebok 32:19. Because uh, we want to see how hunger destroyed the servant who was a leader called Moses. For we shall see how the sin destroyed the servant who was a Moses. And um, I will read. And I will read. It is said, so it was as soon as he came near the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing, so Moses' hunger became hot. And he cast the tablets out of his hands and he broke them at the foot of the mountain. Och da Moses kom nær til leiren, så han kalven og dansen. Da opptentes hans vrede. Han kastet tavlene fra sig og slo dem i stykker ved foten av fjellet. So Moses was a servant of God. Så so Moses var en Guds tjener. And he was a leader. Och han var en leder. Leader, leading many congregations. Och han ledet många trosamfund. As today everybody is a leader. Och idag är alla ledare. You are a leader in your family. Du är ledare i din familj. You are a leader in your work. Och du är leder på arbete. Or you might be a leader in a government. Eller du kan vara en leder i regeringen. Or also in a school. 
Eller också på skolan. But we are discussing Moses as a leader of a nation called Israel. Men då diskuterar vi Moses som en leder för nationen Israel. Because that time Israel was under the hands of God. För den gången så var Israel under Guds händer. And Moses was leading a congregation of many people. Och Moses ledde en samling av många folk. But the hunger made him to destroy what God had given him. Men sinne fick han till att ödelägga det Gud hade gitt ham. So when he came to the foot of the mountain, så när han kom till foten av fjellet, he saw people worshiping idols. Så så han att folket tillbar av guder. And he was hungered. Och han blev sint. And he destroyed the gift which God had given him to bless the Israel. Och han ödla den gaven som Gud hade gitt ham för att välsigna Israel. And that was his first sin. Och det var hans första. To make God also angry. Och det förde också till att Gud blev sint. So anger can it take you away from God. Så so sin kan ta dig väck från Gud. Anger can it take you away from leadership. Och sinne kan ta dig bort från ledarskap. And that is why as Christian we have been given the power of being patient. Och därför har vi som kristna fått evna till att vara tålmodiga. When hunger comes to you, när ang- nej, <laughs> sinne kommer till dig, you can destroy many things. Så kan du ödelägga många ting. You can destroy even what you are doing. Du kan till och med ödelägga det du håller på att jobba med. But if you can allow patience to be within you. Men visst du kan tillåta tålmodighet att vara inne i dig. You can overcome. Så kan du övervinna vreden. Hunger can be also caused by pain or sickness. Vrede kan också komma på grund av smärta från sjukdom. When you are sick for a long time, när du är sjuk länge, there is a feeling in your mind. Så är det en känsla i ditt sin. When you become, you, you can become hungry with people. Du kan bli sint på folk. And you start living alone. Och du kan bli nå och leva för dig själv. And, and you start getting away from people. Och prova hålla dig undan folk. Because maybe you have been sick for a long time. För det du kanske har varit sjuk länge. But when you pray and you seek God, men när du ber och söker Gud, you are able to get the spirit of patience. Så är du i stånd att få tålmodighetens ond. Because in this world we are living, för i den världen som vi lever, no matter you are a believer or non-believer, enten du är en troende eller en icke troende, hunger is for everyone. Så är vrede för alla. Everyone will get hungry. Alla vill bli sinte. But there is a way to overcome it. Men det är en måte att övervinna sinne på. It is only by prayer. Det är vid bön. And also understanding the word of God. Och det att förstå Guds ord. And today I want to use only few topics. Och idag vill jag ba- bruka bara någon få ämnen. Or now to overcome the spirit of hunger. Hur man kan övervinna vredens ond. And one is worship God in singing. Och nummer en det är att tillbe Gud. When you worship the Lord, när du tillber Gud, when you sing to God, när du synger för Gud, he understands your feeling. Så förstår han känslorna dina. And he will give the Holy Spirit. Och han vill ge den helige ande. And you will overcome every spirit of hunger. Och du vill övervinna en vär ond av vrede. And you are able to win the battle. Och du är i stånd att vinna kampen. Because hunger is a spirit of the enemy. För det vrede är en ond från fienden. That is a spirit of darkness to take you away from the kingdom of God. Det är en mörkhetens ond som vill ta dig väck från Guds kungarike. But when you worship God, men när du tillber Gud, in his singing, vid att synge, you are giving your feelings to God. Så ger du dina känslor till Gud. And let us see in the book of Acts 16 verse 25. Och låt oss se i Apostlarna 16. In the book of Acts it talk about a servant called Paul. Paul the apostle. Där talar det om aposteln Paulus. He was a very strong apostle doing miracles and wonders. Han var en stor apostel som gjorde under och tecken. But one day he became to a situation where things were hard. 
Men en dag kommer han in i en vanskelig situation. In this scripture we are going to see Paul has just been doing good. Vi skal se at Gud gjør, hadde nettopp gjort mye godt. He has been preaching the word of God. Han hadde preket Guds ord. But immediately he finds himself in a prison. Men plutselig så befinner han sig i et fængsel. And being in prison, even the people they have beaten him, they have striped him, they have even uh, made him to come blood. Og når i fængsel så har de slått han og fått han til at føle sig dårlig. But this servant of God, men denne Guds tjener, understood to be joyful. Forstod det at være glad. In the midst of the storm. Midt i stormen. Or in the midst of the hunger. Och mitt i sin. So it is says 25 but at midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them. Vers 25. Men vid midnattstid höll Paulus och Silas bön och sang lovsånger till Gud och fångarna hörte på dem. Suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison were broken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's chains were loose. Da kom det med ett et starkt jordskjelv så fängslets grundvåller rystet och strax sprang alla dörrar upp och alles länkar löstes. 27 and the keeper of the prison awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors are open Supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. Vers 27. Fangevokten for da opp av søvne, og da han så fengsles dører åpne, dro han et sverd og ville drepe seg, fordi han trodde at fangene var rømt. But the poor called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Men Paulus ropte med høy røst, Gjør deg ikke noe ondt, vi er her alle. Han bad da om lys og sprang inn, og han falt skjelvene ned for Paulus og Silas, og han førte dem utenfor og sa, Herrer, hva skal jeg gjøre for å bli frelst? And that one says, so they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Vers 31 sier, og de sa da, tro på den Herre Jesus, så skal du bli frelst, du og ditt hus. Amen. Amen. Our main focus is in verse 25. Uh, vårt hovedfokus er på vers 25. But at midnight, midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Men ved midnastid holdt Paulus og Silas bønn og sang lovsanger til Gud. And the prisoners were listening to them. Og fangene lyttet på dem. In this situation when Paul was in prison. I denne situasjonen så var Paulus i fengsel. In instead of complaining. Og i stedet for å klage. In instead of asking God why am I prison and I've been serving you I've been praying for people. Och istället för att anklaga Gud och säga varför jag är jag i fängsel jag har tjänat dig och jag har bett för folk. He said to God I'm going to sing and praise you. Så säger han istället till Gud jag vill synge och lovsynge dig. And this is a way of overcoming the spirit of anger. Och detta är en mot att övervinna vredens ond på. This is a way of overcoming the spirit of complaining. Detta är en måte att övervinna klagen sin ond på. So our point when you worship God in singing, så so vårt punkt är, hvis vi tillber Gud med att synge, he will break all the powers of the enemy. Så so vill han bryta fiendens kraft. He will break the spirit of anger. Han vill bryta sinnets ond. And he will give you the light. Och han vill ge dig lys. Amen. Amen. So today in the name of Jesus Christ. Så idag i Jesu Kristi namn. We will always praise the Lord. Vi vill alltid lova Herren. We will sing in the midst of the tribulation. Vi vill synge mitt i trängslen. We will sing in the midst of the situation. Och vi vill synge mitt i ödeläggelsen. And we will overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Och vi vill övervinna i Jesu Kristi namn. When you worship God. När du tillber Gud. Since he is your creator. Så ser du att han är din skapare. He loves worship. 
Han älskar att bli tillbett. And he will come to listen what you are saying in the worship. Och han kommer och lyssnar till det du säger när du lovprisar. And you remember God. Och hur ska Gud? He does not need this door to open so that he comes. Han tränger inte att öppna en dörr. He will just break. Han bara bryter sig. And come inside. Och kommer inför. So the prison. Så so fängslet. Broke out blev brutt i stycker because god wanted to listen what paul is singing about för gud ville höra vad paulus sang om so when you sing and worship så när du synger och tillber the heaven så vill himlen will come on earth komma ner på jorda and that is why we say och det är därför vi säger as more heaven ju mer himmel here on earth här på jorda when we worship när vi tillber Heaven will come down on earth. Då vill himlen komma ner på jorden. And we will worship with the Lord. Och vi vill tillbe Herren. And he will heal us. Och han vill bo in i oss. He will take away sickness. Han vill ta bort sjukdomar. And we will be strong. Och vi ska bli starka. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi namn. Number two. Number two. Prayer of forgiveness. Bön om och tillgi. Is a way of overcoming the spirit of anger. Det är en måte att övervinna vredens ond på. As Christians, som kristna, sometimes we feel it's difficult to forgive. Så föll vi att det är vanskligt att tillgi. But forgiving is a way of overcoming the spirit of anger. Men att tillgi, det är en måte att övervinna vreden på. For when we do not forgive, for if we ikke tillgir, we will be focusing on that thing happened. So we will focus here on what has happened. We need to train ourselves even to forgive those maybe who rejected our lives. Vi tränger och tränar oss på och tillgi dem som har förkastat oss i livet. We need to forgive even those who maybe said we don't they don't need us. Och vi måste också öva oss i att tillgi de som säger de tränger oss inte. Even in the families where there is a divorce. Och så i familjer hvor det är ett svart får. If you want to go with the next relationship. Vis du vill gå med nästa relationship. Forgive. Tillgi. For when you forgive, for when you forgive, you will concentrate with the new relationship. So will you knit a new fellowship? And you will forget the last relationship. Or you will glemme the forrige. And you will be now concentrating with what you are doing. Or now will you concentrate on what you are doing? So forgiving, so or tillgi, will create an environment. Will create an omgivelse of freedom. Av frihet. And you will not be affected with the spirit of anger. Och du vill inte bli plaget med hävnens ond. Let us see what Jesus said to us in the book of Matthew 6, verse 19 to 14. Låt oss se vad Jesus säger till oss i Matteus 6. Today I'm just teaching. Idag undervisar jag bara. Because I want us to practice the end of the meeting, we are going to pray and practice. Men i en i slutna möte ska vi be och praktisera. And since it will be in our hearts, we will be able to pray against the power of hunger. Och se att vi i våra hjärtan blir i stånd att be mot kraften av sinne. So Jesus was with his own disciples. Jesus var med sina egna disciplar. And these disciples, they saw that Jesus has been doing miracles and wonders. Or disciples saw that Jesus had been doing wonders and miracles. Pharisees have been rejecting him. Or none had forecasted him. Some of them, they have been saying, "You are a bad person." None had said, "You are a bad person." And still, Jesus is loving people. But likevel så elsket Jesus dem. And still, Jesus is doing miracles. Or likevel så gör Jesus mirakler. And is healing the sick. Or han helbreder de syke. And these disciples, they decided to sit down and ask Jesus some question. Or disciples sat us and they asked Jesus some questions. Why are your prayers always God is listening to them? Hvorfor lytter Gud alltid på dine bønner? And he answered them in a simple way. Og han svarte dem på en enkel måte. Matthew 6, verse 5. Matteus 6, 5. I'm going to read. Jeg skal lese. And 
when you pray, this is what Jesus said, and when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. As surely I say to you, they are their reward. Vers 5 märker det Jesus som säger detta. Och när det ber ska det inte vara som hycklarna för de vill gärna stå och bred och be i sina gågor på gatjörnen för att visa sig för människorna. Sannolig säger jag det de har allerede fått sin lön. And the six said but you when you pray go into your room and when you have shut your door pray to your father who is in heaven sacred and your father who sees in sacred will reward you openly. Och vers 6, men du, när du ber, då gå in i ditt lönkammer och luk din dör och be till din fader som är i löndom. Och din fader som ser i löndom, han ska löna dig i det öppenbara. And 7 says, and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard, for they are many words. Vers 7, och när du ber så ska du inte ramsa upp många ord som hedningarna för de tror att de blir bönhört för de många ords skyll. This number verse 7 is saying the people of earth they pray with the hunger or they pray when they want many words. Vers 7 säger att um, människorna på jorden de ber i sinne och de brukar många ord because they want to be seen for they will be set because they are praying with their mind for they bear me sit sin but it is as says this man jesus said it therefore do uh, in say number 9 uh therefore eight therefore do not be like them for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For you are the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Fra vers 8. Gjør derfor ikke som de. For deres fader vet vad dere trenger til før dere ber ham. Derfor skal dere be således. Fader vår, du som er i himlen, helliget vår ditt navn, komme ditt rike, skje din vilje som i himlen så og på jorden. Gi oss i dag vårt daglige brød, og forlat oss vår skyld som vi og forlater våre skyldnere. Og led oss ikke inn i fristelse, men fri oss fra det onde. For rike er ditt, og makten og æren i evighet. Amen. Så vers 12 sier, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Vers 12 sier, Og forlat oss vår skyld, som vi også forlater våre skyldnere. And this is where I'm saying the point of prayer and forgiveness. Och detta är som jag säger ett viktigt punkt när det gäller bön och tillgivelse. When you forgive people, när du tillgir folk, your Father in heaven also will forgive you. Så vill far i himlen också tillgi dig. And he will open the ways for you. Och han vill öppna vägar för dig. So let us continue reading. Så so låt oss fortsätta att läsa. 14 says for if you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Vers 14. For där som där förlater människorna deras överträdelser, där ska deras himmelske Fader också förlata dere. But if you do not forgive men their transgressions, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Men där som där inte förlater människorna deras överträdelser, där ska heller inte deras Fader förlata deras överträdelser. So prayer and forgiveness is a way of overcoming hunger. Så bön och tillgivelse är en måte att övervinna vrede på. When you forgive those maybe they did something to you. När du tillger dem kan det hända de har gjort något galt mot dig. And you give them to God. Och du ger dem till Gud. You are free now as a child of God to ask whatever you want in your heart. Då är du fri som ett Guds barn till att be om det du vill. So today, so idag, 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Bede for dig i Jesu navn. By this revelation. Og med den uppenbaringen. You will release everybody. Så vill det lösa alla. Who has done anything to you? Som har gjort något mot dig. And you will forgive them. Och du vill tillge dem. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. And I tell you you will overcome in the name of Jesus. Och du vill övervinna i Jesu namn. For you will allow the spirit of God. Du vill övervinna hat för du vill till Låta Guds ånd to be in your heart. Och vara i ditt hjärta. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi namn. Amen. Amen. Number 3. Nummer 3 is giving from your heart. Det är att ge från hjärtat. Giving is one key to overcome the spirit of hunger. Och ge är en nyckel för att övervinna ånden av vred. Let us see in the book of John 3:16. La oss se Johannes 3:16. This is a scripture memorized even in the Sunday school. Det är ett bibelvers som de lärer utnat också på söndagsskolan. The first time you went in Sunday school. Första gång du gick på söndagsskolan. The teacher of the Sunday school gave you this scripture. Så gav söndagsskoleläraren dig detta ord. But today we don't know what is the meaning of this scripture. Men idag vet vi inte vad detta verset betyder. But God he was the first giver. Men Gud var den första givaren. For in this world, för i denna världen, you will give which you love. Så vill du ge de du älskar. God loved this world. Gud älskar denna världen. And he loved us. Och han älskar oss. And that is why he gave his only begotten son. Och därför gav han sin egen son. People of this world, folk i denna världen, those who love to go to clubs to drink alcohol, de som önskar att dricka alkohol, they can even go and borrow money. De kan gå och låna pengar and go and pay to drink och gå och betala för alkohol because they love a drinking. För de älskar drickingen. Always people they will give that which they love. Pengar vill ge till det de älskar. If you love church, hvis du älskar menigheten, this is the place you will be giving your time. Så är det det stede du vill ge din tid. This is the place you will be giving your money. Och det är det stede du vill ge dina pengar. This is the place you will be showing your love. Och det är det stede vore du vill visa din kärlek. Because you love church. För det du älskar menigheten. And uh, When someone loves church, och när någon älskar menigheten, and they come and they praise and they worship, och de kommer och ber och lovsinger, if they were in hunger, visst de hade kommit i sinne, they come back to the connection with the fellowship. Så kommer de tillbaka and the hunger till Gud is taken away. Vi har kommit in i fällskapet och då vill vill ang- <coughs> sinne bli tagit bort. So giving from your heart, så det är ge från ditt hjärte will it take away the spirit of hunger will ta bort fredens ond because i've explained to you hunger can be caused by many things för jag har förklarat er att sinnen kan komma av många ting remember abraham was in hunger because he was lacking a child jag huskar abraham sörget för det han manglade ett barn god was in hunger because the first parents adam and eve they sinned och Gud var vred för de de första människorna syndet. And he had no relation again with the man. Och då hade han inte längre fällskap med människa. But he said I'm now going to send my son. Men han sa nu vill jag sända min son. And I'm going to give my son away. Jag vill ge bort min son. So that I can win the world. Slik att jag kan vinna världen tillbaka. Praise the Lord. Lovet vara Herren. So it is says uh, 316 så tre sexton säger For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. För så har Gud älskat världen att han gav sin son den enborne för att världen som tror på ham inte ska förtapas men ha evig liv. In this world when you give i denna världen när du ger from your heart från ditt hjärta God will change your situation. 
så vill Gud förändra situationen. If your hunger was in sickness, hvis sinnet ditt kom av sjukdom, God will bring joy in your life. Så vill Gud bringa glädje in i ditt liv. Because you have made his heart happy, the heart of God. För du har glädjet Guds hjärte. Because he was the first one to give. För han var den första som gav. And when you practice giving in this world, och när du praktiserar giv- giving i denna världen, God will always love you. Så vill Gud alltid älska dig. And he will protect you. Och han vill beskydda dig. And he will heal you. Och han vill helbreda ditt land. Let us go in the book of Malachi 3:10. Låt oss gå till Malachi 3:10. And we see how God is saying. Och vi ska se vad Gud säger. This is a scripture being read in the church detta är, many times. Detta är ett skriftsted som har blivit läst i menigheten många gånger. But I want to talk about something. Men jag vill nämna något av det. So God says bring all the tithes in there to store out so there may be food in my house and try me now in this say the Lord of hosts if I will not open for you for the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessings that there will be not be room enough to receive it Bär hela tiden in i förrådshuset så det kan finnas mat i mitt hus och pröv mig på denna måte säger Herren härskarnes Gud om jag inte vill öppna himlens sluser för dere och utöser välsignelser över dere i rikelig mål. When you give när du ger from your heart från ditt hjärte God has a, a very good promise. Så har Gud gitt ett gott löfte. He says he will open the even windows han säger att han vill öppna slusarna från himlen and he will pour blessings to you och han vill utösa välsignelse över dere this is a promise from god detta är ett löfte från gud when you practice it när du praktiserar det he will open the flood gates of heaven så vill han öppna himlens porter and he will give blessings to you och han vill ge välsignelse till dig so what does this mean så vad betyder betyder detta it means when you give det betyder att när du ger god will, you will just pray and god will just say what is he needing då kan du be och så vill gud se si, vad tränger han what does she need vad tränger hon she needs healing hon tränger helbredelse god will just give you healing och gud vill då ge helbredelse she strength hon tränger styrka god will just give you new strength och gud vill ge ny styrka she needs a house hon tränger ett hus. God will provide for you a house. Och Gud vill skaffa dig ett hus. Because you have given him your heart. För det du har gett från ditt hjärta. When you give with good heart. När du ger med ett gott hjärta. God he says he will open the flat gates of heaven. Så säger Gud att han vill öppna portarna. And today I pray for you. Och idag ber jag för dere. Through this revelation. Genom denna uppenbarelse. God will give you a true heart. Så vill Gud ge dig ett to give sant hjärte till att ge what you have just give det du har bara ge practice in the, this in the kingdom of god praktisera detta i Guds rike and you will see healing in your home och du vill se helbredelse i ditt hem you will see breakthrough in your home du vill se genombrott i ditt hem you will see favor in your home du vill se favör i ditt hem in the name of jesus christ i Jesu Kristi namn when you give in the kingdom of god och du ger in i Guds rike i promise you in the name of jesus så lovar jag i Jesu namn. Healing will be automatically. Att helbredelse vill komma automatiskt. There automatisk. will be breakthrough in your home. Och genombrott vill komma i ditt hem. There will be favor in your home. Det vill bli favör i ditt hem. There will be light in your det home. Det vill bli lys i ditt hem. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi namn. Let us go in the book of Genesis 22 verse 1. La oss gå till första Mosebok 22:1. I want to show you even the forefathers they were giving. Jag ska visa dig att också förfäderna gav. The people of old age uh, is in the book of Genesis 22. Första första Mosebok 22. Genesis 22 verse 1. Vers 1. 1 to 2. Genesis 22 verse 1. I want to talk about our father Abraham. He was the father who was giving each and every time. Jag vill tala om Abraham. 
Han var en far som gav hver eneste gang. For Abraham is our father. For Abraham er vår far. And we have to practice what our father did. Og vi må praktisere det vår far gjorde. So Abraham now God calls him. Så so Abraham nu kaller Gud han. And God tells Abraham, I want just to give your only son. Og han sier til Abraham, jeg vil bare at du gir meg din eneste sønn. But I want to explain something. Men jeg vil forklare dere noe. God does not need anything from us. Gud trenger ikke noe fra oss. He just wants us to practice what han, he has given us. Han vil at vi skal praktisere det han har gitt oss. He will not take money and ta- take them to heaven. Han tar ikke pengene med seg til himlen. He just want our faith. Men han vil at vi skal være trofaste, og han vil ha vår tro. The money which is given for the ministry penger som vi gir til menigheten is only for helping people in the ministry. Det er for å hjelpe folk i menigheten. And opening branches. Og åpne grener. Paying pastors. Og betale pastorer. And paying a house like this one. Og betale husleie som det som her. So God wants us to practice. Så so Gud vil at vi skal praktisere. And now he's doing it to Abraham. Og nå sier han dette til Abraham. Let us read in 22. La oss lese fra kapitel 22. Fra vers 1. Fra vers 1. Now it came to pass after this thing that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Then he said, take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moria, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Noen tid deretter satte Gud Abraham på prøve, og han sa til ham, Abraham, og han svarte, ja, her er jeg. Da sa han, ta din sønn, din eneste, han som du har så kjær, Isak, og gå til Moria land og ofre ham der til brennoffer på et av fjellene som jeg skal si deg. So God will test us in different ways. So God will test us på forskjellige måter. The Bible is saying clearly God tested Abraham. Og Bibelen forteller her hvordan Gud testet Abraham. He wanted to see his faith. Han ville se hans tro. Remember Abraham has been many years without a child. Husk at Abraham hadde vært i mange år uten barn. And staying many years without a child this he was hungry. Og, og da lengtet han og var etter å få et barn. Så han, han var sint. Så Abraham han var vred og sa til Gud, når skal jeg få et barn? And then God, the final time when God answers him with a child, he tests him now to give the only child. Og Gud gav han barnet, men nå vil han teste han med å gi bort igjen det eneste barnet. So God will test us in a different way. Så so Gud vil teste oss på mange forskjellige måter. God will ask you to give also that which you have. Gud vil få dig til å gi også det du har. God will speak you also to give something. Gud vil tale til dig om å gi bort noe. And when he speaks to you, og når han taler til dig, don't argue with God. Ikke diskuter med Gud. Do whatever he tells you. Gjør det han sier. And leave it to God. Og overlate det til Gud. He will answer your prayer. Han vil svare din bønn. So Abraham obeyed God. Så so Abraham lydde Gud. Remember this child he has been waiting for this child for 100 years. Uh, husk på at han hadde ventet på dette barnet i 100 år. And then God says, now I want your child. Og så sa Gud, nå vil jeg ha ditt barn. The child here represents something which we love. Og barnet representerer noe som vi elsker. Since God he loved Jesus, og Gud elsket Jesus, that is what he gave you on a heart. Og det er det han ga til jorda. And in the book of Genesis, Abraham loved the son Isaac. Og i første Mosebok elsket Abraham Isak. And since he knew Abraham and Isaac, they are nations. They are people who will begin to, to bring a nation. Ja, Abraham og Isak, de var begynnelsen på en nation. So he tested Abraham. Så so han testet Abraham. God will test you in different ways. Gud vil teste dig på forskjellige måter. But the important thing, men den viktige tingen, listen the voice of God. Er å lytte til Guds stemme. Even those who are watching me, 
de som lytter til mig. I tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jeg vil si dere i Jesu Kristi navn. Each and every time. En hver gang. Listen the voice of God. Lytt etter Guds røst hele tiden. If he tells you to give something. Hvis han vil teste deg og få deg til å gi noe. Don't argue with God. Ikke diskuter med Gud. Just give. Bare gi. And leave it to God. Og overlatte til Gud. If you have been sick for a long time. Hvis du har vært syk lenge. And God tells you just surrender something to be healed. Og hvis Gud sier gi et eller annet for å bli frisk. Give it. Frisk, gi det. Don't argue with God. Ikke krangle med Gud. Just give it in the name of Jesus. Bare gi det i Jesu navn. And you will see healing. Og du vil ta imot helbredelse. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. Let us read also in the book of Judges 6. Vers 16. La oss også se i dommerne 6, vers 16. We are in the point of giving from the heart. Vi er i poenget å gi fra hjertet. I want us to learn something in giving. Jeg vil at vi skal lære noe om det å gi. Because many times we pray, prayers. Mange ganger ber vi, bønner. But we don't even give. Men gir ikke. And this is a practice in the kingdom of God. Og dette er en praktisering i Guds kongedømme. For God, he was the first one to give. For Gud var den første som ga. And we need also to give. Og vi trenger også å gi. So in the book of Judges 6. So i dommene 6. It talks about someone be visited by angel. Der taler det om en som fikk besøk av engler. And the name is Gideon. Og navnet hans er Gideon. Then Gideon, in verse 16, it says, And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. I dommene 6, 16, sier Gud, Da sa Herren til ham, Jeg vil være med deg, og du skal slå Midianitene ned som en man. I'm starting a verse because we know the history of Gideon. Jeg starter der, for vi vet historien om Gideon. Because here he has been visited by an angel. Han hadde fått besøk av en engel. But now they are negotiating with the angel. Men nå diskuterte han og kranglet med engelen. And 17 it says, Then he said to him, If now I have found favor in your sight, then show me a sign that it is you who talk with me. Da sa Gideon til han, Dersom jeg har funnet nåde for dine øyne, så gi meg tegn på at det er du som taler med meg. Do not depart from me, I pray, until I come to you, and bring out my offering, and set it before you. And he said, I will wait until you come back. Gå ikke herfra før jeg kommer ut til deg med min gave, og legger den frem for ditt åsyn. Og han sa, jeg skal bli her til du kommer tilbake. Now... Gideon is talking with an angel. No taller Gideon men angel. And the angel is listening even to wait the sacrifice. Oh, angelen lytter og venter på offre. Because Gideon has said to angel, I pray, wait for me here as I'm going to get an offering. For Gideon says, wait here, men I'm going to get an offering. And I didn't so say so. Gideon went in and prepared a young goat and a living bread from an heifer. Of flour, thin meat he put in a bas basket, and he put the broth in a pot, and he brought them out of him under the tarabith tree, and he presented them. Twenty. Then the angel of God said to him, Take the meat and the living bread and lay them on this rock, and he poured the broth, and he did so. Twenty-one. Then the angel of the Lord put out the hand of the staff that was in his hand, and took the meat and the living bread. And the fire rose out of the rock and consumed the meat and their living bread. And the angel of the law departed out of his sight. Så gikk Gideon inn og laget til et kje og en efa mel til usyrede kaker. Kjøttet la han i en kurv og suppen hadde han i en krukke og bar de ut til ham under eken og satte det frem. Da sa Guds engel til ham, Ta kjøttet og de usyrede kaker og legg det på stenen der, og hell suppen over, og han gjorde så. Og Herrens engel rakte ut staven sin som han hadde i handa, 
og rørte ved enden av det kjøttet og de usyrede kakene, og da steg det ill opp fra stenen og fortærte kjøttet og de usyrede kaker, mens Herrens engel for bort for hans øyne. Amen. Amen. Many times, even Ma- God will wait for you to give an offering. Mange ganger vil Gud vente på dig så at du kan få gitt offeret ditt. To answer your prayers. For å besvare dine bønner. The Bible shows us even the angel had to take time and wait for him to go and prepare an offering. Og, og Bibelen sier at også engler tog seg tid til å vente på han mens han gikk og forberedte offeret. In those time people they were not giving money. På den tiden så ga ikke folk bort penger. But they were giving goats. Men de ga gjeter. They were giving cows. Og kuer. But the angel had to wait. Men engelen han ventet. And today I'm telling you. Og i dag sier jeg dere. Even if you are sleeping somewhere in a bed. Om dere sover i en seng. You are watching us. Og dere ser på oss. I tell you in the name of Jesus. Så vil jeg si dere i Jesu navn. Giving is a way. Og gi det er en måte to overcome the power of the enemy. For å overvinne fiendens kraft. Giving it away. Og gi er en måte to overcome the spirit of hunger. Og overvinne vredens ånd på. That has been disturbing you for many days. Og den har forstyrret deg i mange dager. Just give God something. Bare gi Gud noe. And you will see him delivering you from that situation. Og du vil se at han frir deg ut av den situasjonen. God loves a cheerful giver. Gud elsker en glad giver. When you give in your, from your heart, når du gir fra ditt hjerte, God will take away every shame. Så vil Gud ta en, bort en vær skam. God will take away every spirit of anger. Og han vil ta bort en vær vred. And God will break away every spirit of witchcraft. Og han vil også bryte vekk eh, under av heksekraft. And God will come to you. Og Gud vil komme til dig. And will show you the way. Og vil vise dig vei. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesus Kristi navn. My last point. Mitt siste poeng. To overcome hunger. For å overvinne vrede. Is love. Er kjærlighet. Love is a weapon. Kjærlighet er et våpen. When you love people. Når du elsker mennesker. You are able to overcome hunger. Så er du i stand til å overvinne vrede. So Matthew 5.43. Så Matteus 5.43. That is our last point. Det er vårt siste Our last uh, scripture. Vårt siste skriftsted. Matthew 5 verse 43. Matteus 5:43. Yeah, because I want today to understand on how to overcome the spirit of hunger. Jeg vil at dere skal forstå hvordan dere skal overvinne vredens ånd. Hunger has destroyed many marriages. Vrede har ødelagt mange ekteskap. Hunger has destroyed many homes. Og det har ødelagt mange hjem. Hunger has destroyed many companies. Og det har ødelagt mange selskaper. Hunger has made people to to make wrong decisions. Og sinne har fått folk til å ta gale valg. But if you are patient with God, men hvis du er tålmodig med Gud, you are able to overcome. Så kan du overvinne. Hunger has caused many people to die young. Vrede har fått noen til å dø unge. They just commit suicide. De begår selvmord because of hunger. På grunn av sinne. That is why today I'm just explaining. Og det er derfor jeg forklarer i dag. So that we pray as Christians. Så so at vi som kristne kan be. Enemy will not win us. Fienden skal ikke overvinne oss. We will win the spirit of hunger. Vi skal vinne over vredens ånd. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. And we break every evil. Og vi bryter en vær onde. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. So let us read. 43. Så la oss lese vers 43. It says, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spiritfully use you and persecute you. Dere har hørt det er sagt, du skal elske din neste og hate din fiende. Men jeg sier dere, elsk deres fiender, velsign dem som forbanner dere, gjør vel mot dem som hater dere, og be for dem som forfølger dere. 45, that you may be sons of your father in heaven, for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good, and sends the rain on the just and on the unjust. 46, for if you love those who love you, what reward you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? 
47, and if you greet your brother, brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so? Therefore, you shall be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. From verse 45. For at dere kan bli deres himmelske faders barn, for han lar sin sol gå opp over onde og gode, og lar det regne over rettferdige og urettferdige. For om dere elsker dem som elsker dere, hva lønn har dere da, gjør ikke også tollerne det samme. Og om dere hilser bare på deres brødre, hva stort gjør dere da, gjør ikke også hedningene det samme. Derfor skal dere være fullkomne, like som deres himmelske fader er fullkommen. So I tell you, don't be tired of loving people. Så jeg sier, bli ikke trøtt av å elske mennesker. Even those people you hate. Også de menneskene du hater. Love them. Elsk dem. Love is free. Og kjærlighet er gratis. Smile to them. Smil til dem. Show them God loves you. Vis dem at Gud elsker dem. And tell them I love you. Og si til dem jeg elsker deg. Go to them and tell I forgive you. Si jeg tilgir deg. I love you, you are my brother. Jeg elsker deg, du er min bror. You might be doing bad. Du kan gjøre gale ting. But still I love you. Men likevel elsker jeg deg. Because all of us we belong to God. For alle vi tilhører Gud. Because when he will send the rain. For han sender regn. It will rain for both people. Over begge typer mennesker. Good and bad. Gode og dårlige. And God shines the sun for everybody. Og Gud la sin sol skinne for alle mennesker. So love. Så elsk. Is a weapon. Det er et våpen. To overcome hunger. For å overvinne vrede. When you show love. Når du viser kjærlighet. These people they will say. Så vil folk si, Why is this person loving me and a bad character? Hvorfor elsker den personen meg, jeg som har en dårlig karakter? With the time they will change. Og etter en stund så vil de forandre seg. So love people. Så elsk mennesker. Let us love people. La oss elske mennesker. You are watching me. Du hører på meg. Love people. Elsk mennesker. Greet people. Hils på mennesker. Show them love. Vis dem kjærlighet. And God also will love you. Og Gud vil også elske deg. And the church also will love you. Og menigheten vil også elske deg. We pray for you. Vi ber for deg. For wherever you are. Uansett hvor du er. In the name of Jesus. I Jesu Kristi navn. We pray for you as a church. Vi ber for deg som menighet. And we love you. Og vi elsker deg. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. Today we tell you. Og i dag forteller vi deg. You are our brother. At du er vår bror. You are our sister. Du er vår søster. And we love you. Og vi elsker dere. With the love of God. Ved Guds kjærlighet. We love you. Vi elsker dere. In the name of Jesus. I Jesu navn. As a church. Som en menighet. We love you. Elsker vi dere. And we like to fellowship with you more. Og vi vil gjerne ha mer fellesskap med dere. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. So today, så i dag, I encourage you, oppmuntrer jeg dere, go and read these scriptures alone. Gå og les disse skriftstedene for dere selv. And you will get something. Og du vil få noe. I have just given you four points. Jeg har gitt dere fire punkter. The point one is to worship. Punkt en er å tilbe. Point two is prayer and forgiveness. Punkt to er å tilgi og be. Three is giving. Tre er å gi. And four is love. Og fire er å elske. When you practice things. Når du praktiserer disse fire tingene. I tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. Så kan jeg si deg i Jesu Kristi navn. You will not even pray more. At du vil til og med be mer. You will just be seeing things answered. Og du vil også se ting uten at du har bedt. Because you are practicing. Fordi du har praktisert. Let us pray. La oss be. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fader i Jesu Kristi navn. I pray for your children. Ber jeg for dine barn. Wherever they are, oh dear Lord our God. Uansett hvor de er, oh Herre vår Gud. Strengthen them. Styrk dem. Give them the spirit of love. Gi dem kjærlighetens ånd. Give them the spirit of love in the name of Jesus. Gi dem kjærlighetens ånd i Jesu Kristi navn. Strengthen their lives. Styrk deres liv. Strengthen their minds. Styrk deres sinn. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ. Styrk dem i Jesu Kristi navn. Those who are sick. De som er syke. I pray for healing. Jeg ber om helbredelse for dere. I pray for deliverance. Jeg ber om utfrielse. I pray for faithfulness. Jeg ber om trofasthet. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi navn. Lord today, Lord our God. Herre Gud. I break every chain. I dag bryr. 
bryter en vär längtan. I break every spirit of fear. Jag bryter en vär fryktens ond. I break every chain. Jag bryter en vär länken. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi namn. Today, Lord our God. I dag, Herre Gud. I pray for financial breakthrough. Ber jag om ekonomisk genombrud. I pray for their finances. Jag ber för deras finanser. I pray for miracles. Jag ber om mirakler. In the name of Jesus. I Jesu namn. Lord our God, and they worship. Herre Gud. And they sing good songs to you, Lord our God. Låt dem tillbe. May you open heaven their lives. Och bli en god barn för dig. I break every spirit of witchcraft. Och du vill öppna himmel för dem. I break every spirit of darkness. Och jag bryter in the name of Jesus Christ. Kraft och mörkets makt över dem. In the name of Jesus. I Jesu namn. Lord, we thank you. Herre, vi tackar dig. For this fellowship. For dette fellowship. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Jesu Kristi namn. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Var velsignet. Amen. Amen.